Anisha was talking about beyond the index, the energy pack, overall energy pack, oil and gas companies on the upstream side, ONGC, Oil India. The downstream stocks also have done very well. Uh, gas companies like MGL are doing very well. And today we are also looking at the mid-cap lenders, you know, the Yuko banks, the Bank of Maharashtra's, LIC Housing Finance, all those names come back in style. But there's a very interesting and a very vibrant market in the broader market which are doing well. We'll pull up a lot of interesting stocks for you. Castrol has come back. Remember Castrol, that boring lubricant company, Castrol? Mm -hmm. That has come back in style. And now the street is talking about how the company is going beyond the normal lubricant business they had, EV lubricants and many also. There are a lot of individual ideas which are buzzing in trade which we'll be discussing through the day. But uh, Kunal is here with us along mm -hmm. with Nuresh will also join us. Kunal, uh, how would you trade this market? Well, on the index front, uh, we are still uh, stuck into this resistance band of 21,750. I think that's what Anisha was also highlighting, that that's a major resistance point for the index. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, we closed about 21,700 marks, so maybe there was some glimmer of hope that uh, you know we could surpass the technical resistance as such. But I think except for that uh, you know initial uh, move on the indices, we've not been able to conquer as such the 21,750 plus mark for uh, the Nifty. And I think that's a bit of a concern. Again, l large cap stocks losing a bit of shine. I'm not saying uh, major reversals for these large cap names, but I think the, la the likes of Reliance, ICICI Bank, HDFC Bank, again, a bit more quieter, adds to uh, you know, the bigger concern that the markets require push from these large cap stocks to continue to move up higher. So we'll keep a watch on this 21,700, 750 mark for the index to uh, maybe create fresh long positions on the Nifty. Okay, point taken. Uh, apart from oil and gas space, which is of course perking up, there are a lot of names from autos, uh, you know, as well, which is actually doing quite well. So Tata Motors, of course, one of the top contributors. You also have Bosch as the OEM, which is actually doing quite well. And Maruti is in focus ahead of its earnings tomorrow. Uh, Nurek, your sense on this entire auto pack? Would you take a bet? Uh, so out here, it is more like a trailing onto the and uh, riding onto the position because majority of these auto names have uh, continued to do well. So if you look at whether it's a Bajaj Auto or a Tata Motors, both have hit new all-time highs, uh, different segments as well. Uh, so the only name which I actually like out of the auto pack is uh, a one which is not much uh, in discussion, uh, but has slowly moved up, which is Bosch Limited. The stock has slowly and steadily over the last few uh, weeks uh, gone up, and today also it has hit a new 52-week high, holding on in this markets as well. So if I have to take a bet in the auto pack, I'll go with Bosch Limited. Okay, let me just quickly run you through some of the... The rise will lead to almost doubling of top line and bottom line, 14% higher. But uh, there's another stock which is gaining after the results. Nuresh, uh, I would like you to check the charts for Apar Industries. It's a big h and slash institutional kind of a stock now. But there's something common between Apar, 6.5% move. Uh, yesterday, Voltam Transformers, exactly at this show, when we were doing the show, the numbers came out. And last week was was TRIL. And the word which is common is transformers. The numbers are transforming and so are the stock prices. Mm -hmm. Clearly. And of course, the fortunes of investors who have bought into those names. Where do you see APAR beyond the 6100 mark, Nuresh? So, out here the cases, uh, the stock has given a fresh breakout. Uh, but the last three times the stock has come towards the 6100 mark. It has taken a pause. Uh, it was in start of 2024, as well as uh, back in November, as well as in September. So the 6,000, 6,100 seems a major stiff resistance. We've got the uh, results also, and the stock has not been able to cross that. So I would wait for a day or two, and then maybe after a pause, it could take a take out 6,100. But one has to be careful here. The stock has been a massive outperformer in the last uh, say one, one and a half year from being a thousand rupee stock, the stock has gone up to 6,000. And it has, uh, it is one of the overowned stocks. You have uh, almost 30% institutional holding in this company. So I'll be a little careful. The risk reward is not great as it was, say, maybe a year back on the stock. 